Uh, Dr. Findlay is here with us, and uh, he's seen the gantry go around for the first time. This is an exciting time for Jamestown Radiology. For the first time in the history of this uh, city, we have uh, a 64 slice uh, scanner, which is going to be uh, a very uh, significant advancement over what has happened. We are up to the level of most universities throughout the United States in terms of providing the quality of uh, imaging so that our patients will not have to travel 80 miles either way to the west or to the south or to the north or to the east to get studies done. Uh, in one sweep, we'll be able to do cardiac imaging, we'll be able to do brain imaging, uh, we're going to be able to do uh, a significant amount of uh, other uh, 3D reconstruction images of the whole body. So this is extremely advancement, and as you can see, the spinning of that gantry, that gantry spins at a very, very rapid rate. We can do a whole brain within a few seconds. We can do the heart within a few seconds. Uh, a downward aorta and peripheral runoff, we can do those in just a matter of seconds. So, uh, you know, our throughput will be very, very enriched by, uh, and, you know, by having this uh, scanning of, of the capability uh, here at Jamestown. Uh, I think this is a tremendous advance uh, you know, at this point in time uh, for this uh, community. Thank you very much, Dr. Finley. It uh, does seem you're a little excited about having this machine here. Oh, very much so, very much so. And I know yeah. you've been instrumental in uh, persuading everybody that this is the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah. and I believe so, deep down that this is the right thing to do, and I think that uh, our community will benefit significantly from this uh, When will you be able to start taking a look at the images that, this, that the uh, machine Well, hopefully generates? within another week and a half, we should be able to, next week we'll try to uh, start to test, you know, have test patients uh, in Port Tool, and then shortly thereafter, you know, after uh, we get about 10 or, 10 or 12 uh, cardiac CT uh, Port Tool, we will be able to, uh, to then uh, start uh, scheduling patients. And in the meantime, what are patients doing? Are they, uh, are we they have the truck out there that, uh, you know, we're, the we're ER. not down at all, yeah. you know, so everything is uh, up and far. Okay. We have planned this very well, and it's a very, very instrumental in trying to uh, So uh, the two technicians that have been here installing this for us are Randy uh, and uh, Lynn. Mm -hmm. Lynn's from Bismarck and Randy's from uh, Fargo. Fargo. And I just was going to ask Lynn why, or what is it that, that makes this important for him to be able to install these and perhaps even repair them when the time comes? What does that mean to you? It's just, uh, you get a good feeling if they're having trouble and you're able to fix it and able to continue providing their excellent health care for, for the local folks. It gives you a good feeling. That's correct. That's correct. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thanks, Lynn. And if case, something does happen, you'll be there to help uh, take care of it, right? Yeah, we'll sure try okay. to be. And Randy from uh, Fargo is here, and he's also been put helping install this. Randy, what does it mean to you to be able to have a machine like this here, and if you would ever have to come back and work on it? What, what is that like for you? It means a lot to me. I mean, to be able to come and work on it and able to get the equipment back up and working so the facility is able to do patients and give patients the highest quality of care that they Deserve. So if you walk in and there's a family with a young, you know, child or even you know, a senior member of the household, yeah. what happens? Then all of a sudden, what? It just makes you feel real good that I guess I feel real confident that they are getting the highest quality of care on this machine, on the state of our uh, state of the art medical equipment. Okay, great. Thank you very much, gentlemen. It's an exciting day for Jamestown Hospital.